This will be a quick video on parametric equations. The question says a curve C has parametric equations x equals sine squared t and y equals 2 tan t where t is between 0 and pi on 2. Find dy and dx in terms of t. When you have questions like this where you're given parametric equations in terms of x and y, you need to remember that dy on dx is equal to dy on dt divided by dx on dt. Or another way of saying that is dy on dx multiplied by dx on dt is equal to dy on dt. Both of these arrangements can be useful uh, depending on what the expressions are. You know, sometimes this way might be faster, sometimes this might be faster. Uh, but either way, uh, they're the same thing, just rearranged slightly differently. Uh, anyways, what this says is we need to find dy and dt. In other words, the derivative of y with respect to t and the derivative of x with respect to t. So that's our first task here. So let's start with dx on dt. This is the derivative of sine squared t. Now sine squared t you can think of as uh, sine t times sine t. And if you really can't remember the chain rule, just use the product rule, you get the same thing. Uh, but we can use the chain rule here, it's going to be faster. So the chain rule says we want the derivative of the function inside the square, if you like. So you can also think of this as sine t squared. So the derivative of the function inside the brackets first, the, the derivative of sine is cosine, cosine t, and then the derivative of the square. Uh, so the square of sine t. So when we have the exponent there, we use the power rule, we bring that down the front, so it's two, and then that function stays as is. So it, it's like the derivative of sine, and then we're thinking that as x. Doesn't really matter what it is, we just deal with the power. So this is two sine t. Okay, uh, and usually we'd write that as two cosine t sine t. Okay, that's dx on dt dy on dt uh, is the derivative of the tan function. We can ignore that constant. That's just going to stay there. The derivative of tan is sec squared t. Okay, we have dx on dt and dy on dt. Now we can find dy and dx. Uh, using either of these, I'll probably use this one here. So dy on dx is equal to dy on dt. Um, now we could write this differently. Remember sec of t is the same as 1 over the cosine of t. Um, but actually I might leave it like that. So sec squared t and then this is divided by dx on dt. So this is divided by 2 cosine t sine t. And the question, all the question said was find dy and dx in terms of t. Personally, I would say that would be a fine place to stop. Uh, but sometimes the question might also say give it in terms of sec or give it in terms of the secant and cosecant functions. So let's go ahead and just simplify this a little bit more. We could also write this as 2 sec, sec squared t times, uh, well actually, firstly, let's cancel those twos. So I didn't need to write that two. Let's get rid of that two. So multiplying by one on cosine t, and then multiplying by one on sine t. Another identity we could use here is the cosecant function. That's equal to one on sine t. So another way to write this expression is sec squared t multiplied by sec t because one on cosine t is sec t, multiplied by the cosecant of t. Okay, and then we could also write it as sec cubed t times cosecant t. So that's another way to give your final answer. Uh, now this question was from the A-level textbook. At the end of the book, they have some practice exams. This is the final answer they give. However, I cannot really explain the justification for preferring this answer over this one. Um, and I have yet to see an exam question that would leave that kind of vague like that. So I wouldn't panic too much if 
you are trying some exam questions from the textbook and they give this answer and not this one, um, you know, I think this, this would be fine personally. I would give this four marks in, to answer this particular question. So there you go. Uh, that was a quick question on parametric equations. Hopefully you found that useful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.